Hey everybody, today on Henry Sassu's, I'm going to show you how to make restaurant grade mashed potato. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so the first thing we need to do is boil our potatoes. Now a chef's secret I'm going to tell you, don't peel your potatoes. If you peel them, when you're boiling it, all that nutrition and all that flavour is going to come out of the potatoes. Leave the skin on, we're going to boil it with the skin on, and most fine dining restaurants will do it this way. So at this point, all we need to do is just add a pinch of salt to our potatoes and we're just going to cover this with some cold water. And then just on a high heat, we want it to reach the boil. So once that reaches the boil, we just want to gently boil these on a medium to high heat and this will generally take about 15 to 20 minutes. So we just want to check for tenderness. Alright guys, so it's been 20 minutes so far, so we'll just have a check. So to determine if they're cooked, just get a sharp knife, and make sure it goes nicely all the way through the potatoes. Just like that. So these are all cooked and ready to go. So we'll turn our heat off. And what I'm going to do is place our potatoes just into a container of cold water. Now we'll just let them rest there for a couple of minutes and then we can peel them. So after about two minutes we'll drain the water and then we can begin by peeling our potatoes. Now be gentle when you're peeling them because they are cooked and they will be fragile. So just very gently peel off the skin. Now that all our potatoes are peeled we're going to stop by adding in two tablespoons of butter. some freshly cracked pepper, a pinch of salt, one crushed garlic clove, and finally half a cup of full cream milk. And we'll begin by mashing. Now guys, in case you are wondering, I always prefer to use a fork when I'm making mashed potatoes, depending on how, what the quantity is. If it's a big quantity, then I'll obviously use a masher, but refrain from ever using a food processor or a blender, because you see, we get this nice mashiness when we do it by hand. So you're going to use a machine, you end up with a puree, and it's just too artificial. It will look like KFC great, uh, mashed potato. And that's not what we want. We want something really nice and luxurious. So eventually you will end up with something that's just nice and creamy and just beautiful. And that's the result we want. So before you go ahead and serve it, make sure you taste it again. Um, check your seasonings. Potatoes do love a lot of salt. So adjust as you need to. And there we have it, our mash is ready to go. So then we'll just finish it off with some freshly chopped parsley on top for some green colour. And there we have it guys, that's how we make restaurant quality potato mash. I hope you liked that guys, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.